In an early scene in his new documentary, Vince Neil walks through the narrow hallways of the Whiskey at Go-Go, the vaunted rock club at the heart of West Hollywood's Sunset Strip. Back in the day, it didn't look like this, he says wistfully as the camera follows his gaze to the photos of Rock and Row. There are a lot of old memories in these, dressing, rooms, that's for sure. Considering that Neil is the 41-year veteran frontman for one of Rock's most gleefully debauched bands, one can only imagine those memories. The blonde dressed Motley Crue Yowie, 61, returns to the quartet's old haunt in Motley Crue's Vince Neil, My Story, a two-hour documentary that premieres on Cable's Reels channel Sunday, 8 slash 5 pdt Fans will relish the insight into Neil's early years, he grew up in Compton, California, took ice skating lessons with his sister, and chose music over baseball, because the high school team would have forced him to cut his hair. In a grateful guy, Brett Michaels on touring with Poison and Solo Neil A. I was surprised how good the house looks. Seeing the park down the street where I used to play ball, the school shortcuts I took on my bike, he says, chatting about the documentary while on tour in Miami. I hadn't been to the whiskey in a while, probably since the band did the Kickstart My Heart video there, in 1989. When you're young, you went to watch the bands play there and it all seems so big. And then you get out there, and the stage is so small. Neil and his motley mates, the Umlauts, by the way, were added to the band's name because they were drinking Louis and Glory the day they picked their moniker, returned to the road this month after a seven-year hiatus and the destruction of the eye. Work began on the film in January 2021. Director Scott Sternberg, live from Daryl's house, the Chris Isaac Hour, a longtime friend of Neil's, had hoped to include footage from the stadium tour, but the two-year postponement due to COVID-19 tangled up the timing. Even without recent new footage, there is still plenty to mine in Neil's history, including the painful recollection of the tragic 1984 car crash, Neil was driving, that killed Hanoi Rocks singer Nicholas Razzle Dinkley, who was only 24. In the documentary, Motley drummer Tommy Lee recounts the tragic night, when an inebriated Neil and Dingley took a quick ride to pick up more booze for a party. No one thought to tell Vince not to drive to the liquor store, Lee says.